Over the past five years, Tampa, Florida has become one of the most popular relocation destinations in the country, attracting people from all over the United States, the Pacific Northwest, the West Coast, the Midwest like myself, and the Northeast. And Tampa has a lot to offer, from its incredible river walk to its amazing bustling downtown. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you things you can't find on Google. I'm gonna share with you 10 reasons why you're going to love living in downtown Tampa, because let me just let you in on a little secret. If you ain't here, you're missing out. It was getting crazy windy out, so I jumped back in the home studio here, and here's what I want you to know. By the end of this video, you'll get to know a lot more about downtown Tampa. The activities you can do, how convenient it is to live here, the job opportunities, and what real estate options are, so make sure you stick around to the end, because we're gonna cover all of that. If we've never met before, my name is Juan Alcala. I make videos that are all things Tampa Bay. What it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. A little over five years ago, my wife Kate and I packed up our family of five, sold almost everything we knew, moved 1,200 miles south to the Sunshine State in the Tampa Bay area, and have been loving it ever since. I'm also a licensed real estate agent and a team leader here with the True Living Group, where we help people just like you buy, sell, relocate, and invest in the greater Tampa Bay area. So if that interests you, no, we got your back on that too. Now there's a lot to love about living in downtown Tampa. And it's one of the five places we featured in our previous video about where to move in Tampa Bay. But today I'm gonna to share 10 personal reasons why I think you're going to love living in downtown Tampa. The first reason on my list is the walkability in Tampa. And this is something that I have just absolutely grown to love. Whenever we take our family down there, we walk everywhere. We will literally park on one side of the city and meander all the way through the parks, through the streets, and the sidewalks are great. There are cafes and restaurants and shops and lots of things to do along the way. I've never felt unsafe with my family down there. Our city is super clean. Um, and if you live down there, if you live in an area like the towers at Waterside, um, you know, you can walk right out your front door and there's a Green Rise uh, grocery store right across the way. If you live over in the Channel Side District, you know, up near the new apartments and condos over there, there's a Publix grocery store right there. I mean, being able to walk out your front door and walk to a great grocery store is awesome. Not to mention the local restaurants, the, the cafes, you know, you can go grab a great cup of coffee. There's all kinds of restaurant options. You can get dessert down there and all of the amenities and the activities and entertainment that are at your fingertips too. So Having that type of walkability is awesome and Tampa has it second to none. The second reason why I think you're gonna love downtown Tampa is because our weather is incredible. Honestly, five months out of the year, our weather is absolutely lights out. I mean, it would be hard to argue that it's not some of the best weather in the entire country. Now, we do have really hot months in the summer. We've discussed this a lot. You know, that July, August, uh, September period, that is our rainy season and our hot season. It's gonna be 90 plus degrees every single day, um, give or take, uh, and it can be really, really muggy. And that's something you're gonna have to exchange for maybe coming from a northern climate where you had snow, gray, dreary weather for five or six months out of the year. Now, there are another two or three months when it is in the 80s. It can be in the low 80s or the high 80s. It just really depends on how the season's going. But those other five months, we're averaging 70 degrees every single day. And with the amount of sunshine, we get somewhere between 230 and 260 days of sunshine a year. It's hard to argue that Tampa's weather is not absolutely incredible because, because just like today, when I was walking around, the sun was shining, it was 81 degrees, there was no humidity. Those are the days that people absolutely love living in Tampa. And they're one of the reasons why we have such a humongous draw and why all these people are relocating to the area. The third thing on our list is the amount of activities you will find in Tampa, both indoor and outdoor when it comes to downtown. Now, if we're talking about outdoor, we've got the Tampa River Walk, which has been recognized as one of the best river walks in the entire country. We've got Bayshore Boulevard. If you just hop over uh, the bridge there and head over to Hyde Park, Bayshore, those areas, it's the longest continuous stretch of sidewalk in the United States. And you will find people running, jogging, biking, walking, walking their pets. There are, um, exercise equipment on that path that's awesome you know and again going back to the river walk you can stop and grab a cocktail or get get a go to a restaurant and have a meal um, there is curtis hickson park where we do our, our tree lighting ceremony every year they have ice skating rinks there there are pop-up shops there there's um, a blues and barbecue festival that goes down there and blues the seafood festival that goes on down there that's just a few of the things if you want to go indoor you can go to the stress uh theater and go see a great show we've got the um the florida theater over there um you can 
see the orchestra. There's so many different things to do in downtown Tampa. You can, you know, rent bikes. You can go hang out around the city. I mean, grab a scooter. There's just, the, the list is endless. And you got the Florida Aquarium that you have access to. You got the Museum of Tampa, which you got access to. You've got the Glazer Child's Museum. There is a ton going on. And that's not even including the uh, convention center or checking out a Bolts game at Emily Arena or heading up to um, uh, Raymond James Stadium and checking out the Buccaneers. Tampa is absolutely a blast. Another outstanding thing about living in Tampa is its proximity to beaches. Now, Tampa is urban style living. It's downtown, that's what you're trying to accomplish if you're doing that. But what I love about the Tampa Bay area in general is you do get a healthy mix of urban, suburban, and bay living. And what's really cool about the way that Tampa is positioned is in 40 minutes to an hour, you can be over to Clearwater Beach, you can be over to Indian Rocks Beach where we live, um, you can go check out Caladese Island, you can go down to St. Pete Beach. We have over 27 miles of gorgeous white sugar sand beaches that you can be to in roughly an hour or less. Um, and that is excellent when you think of in terms of proximity. Now, if you just wanna go hang out in the bay, you can go over to the West Shore, you know, you can go grab a boat ride, you can get a ferry ride, you can do all kinds of things. You can jump over on the river and rent boats and jet skis and go on a water taxi. There is so many things to do. And our proximity to beaches obviously makes Tampa a very attractive place to anyone who wants that type of living. Another thing I love about downtown Tampa is its bustling culinary scene. And listen, I'm a foodie, y'all. I love to eat my way through every city I ever visit, and Tampa does not disappoint. From our gastro pubs to our Michelin star rated restaurants to you know the five star experience, whatever it is you're looking for, you are going to find it. Heck, there are food trucks on every corner, and you are not going to be disappointed with those either. It's something to love. You know, we talk about these Michelin star rated restaurants. Well, what does that mean? These are restaurants that have have been deemed by food critics as some of the best in the country. And a few of our Michelin star gems that we have in the area are restaurants like Koya, which features high-end Japanese cuisine, Lilac, which is basically a modern take on French cuisine, awesome restaurant, and Roca for those of you who have a hankering for great Italian food as well. And if you're looking for something a little bit more laid back, you can head over to Sparkman's Wharf and check out all of the great food options they have there. Kate and I ate at Battery. We had a really nice experience. I mean, the wharf is a very interesting environment. It's right on channel side there. You know, you can see the cruise ships coming in and out of the, uh, the bay, and it's really cool out of port there. And it's fun to be in an environment like that. They've got live music down there. There's all kinds of restaurants. They have uh, shipping containers that they've turned into small restaurants um, that offer things like acai bowls and crazy donuts but there's a one that has cocktails there that's called swigamajig we love that it's a great option too um, we've had tie down town before that we actually thought was pretty good um, and when it comes to tampa there's just a lot it's not just about downtown you have a lot of options in tampa in general but downtown has again obviously we got great michelin starred restaurants so make sure you check those out when you're downtown and if you're getting any value out of today's video, do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. That way you can be notified every time we drop a video just like this. And if you're interested in relocating to the Tampa Bay area, do not hesitate to reach out to me and my team. All of my contact information is listed down below. Heck, there's even a link to my calendar so you can schedule a time that's most convenient for you. Now let's get back into our list. Number six on our list is sports. And if you're a sports fan, you are gonna love living in Tampa. Not only do you have access to Amway Arena where the Lightning play, and we do concerts there as well, it's awesome. If you head just north of downtown, you can be over to Raymond James Stadium and check out a Buccaneers game if you're an NFL fan. And right across the street from there, you've got Steinbrenner Stadium where the New York Yankees host spring training. So that's an awesome venue as well. If you are, are a baseball fan, you wanna go check out the Rays, you gotta head over to downtown St. Pete. Now this this is a highly um, controversial thing that I'm bringing up right now because everybody wants the Rays to play in downtown except for the people that live in Pinellas County where St. Petersburg is and vice versa. And there's this giant argument if you live in Tampa that people in Tampa don't want to go over the bridge and people in Pinellas don't want to go over. The it's so funny how, how people are. You know, they don't want to drive 35 minutes, but then they don't want traffic and they don't want to deal with parking issues. So like, you can't really win in those environments, but I'm sharing this with you guys because that's just part of it. We also have um, the Rowdies who play soccer down in St. Pete. So if that's important, you can go check that out also. But it's really cool to have these types of venues in your backyard where not only are they going to do sports, but you have access to world-class entertainment like concerts as well. Another great thing to love about living in Tampa is, is access to our airport. First and foremost, our airport has been recognized as one of America's best airports for the second year in a row, which is awesome. Major airports, right? I tell everybody, we arrive with 
within an hour of our flight and I still have time to go get Starbucks, sit down, you know, check up on emails and then get in the plane comfortably. It is that easy to get in and out of. I love how it's positioned and its proximity to downtown is also awesome. Depending on where you live downtown, it's gonna be anywhere from a 13 minute drive to roughly a 15 minute drive to get to the airport. That is no big deal. You got plenty of parking when you get over there as well. Again, it's easy in, easy out. We actually love Tampa International Airport. I used to travel corporately and I saw a lot of airports in the United States. And let me tell you, all things are not created equal. <laughs> if you've been to any of the major hubs where you've got to run from one gate to another, or it's just chaotic, there's not enough parking, it was put out in the suburbs, you know, 50, 80 years ago when it didn't make any sense, you know, it can be very, very challenging to navigate those airports, but not Tampa. Tampa International Airport is awesome, it's clean, it's easy in and out, and its proximity to downtown is amazing. Number eight is Tampa's consistent growth. Over the last five years, like I said, this place has exploded in popularity. There are more and more young professionals moving to Tampa. And that is something to take note of because when young professionals, when you're attracting talent to the area where you live, that says a lot about how people feel and the quality of the jobs that are in the area. Now, tech has been one of the biggest drivers of Tampa's growth. Um, we are the number two destination in the country for tech jobs right now. Now, I'm not saying we're the biggest, you know, Silicon Valley is doing that thing, but we're the, we're the number two destination of new talent to the area. And that's important to note because if you live in, a, in an area and you wanna make sure that it's growing, you wanna make sure it's healthy. And when younger professionals choose to move to the, an area, they're bringing healthy starting incomes because tech pays well, number one. They're, you know, they're educated residents, which is always great to have um, more educated residents in your community. It's not that they're better than anyone else. Cities have entire planning committees devoted to the fact of trying to attract talent right? Trying to attract a high quality resident, if you will. And this is a really big focal point of most major cities. When you lose talented individuals, that takes away from your community. But when you gain them, it helps grow your community. So I love the fact that, you know, we're investing in infrastructure, we're investing in jobs. You know, um, we mentioned tech, banking is another huge sector when it comes to jobs here and employment. Obviously, there is government work as well. You've got medical and defense contracts. Tracking. And those things all lend to a healthy amount of, of, of uh, jobs and growing incomes that people are attracted to. Add on that the, the great walkability, the weather of the city, and it's no wonder why so many young professionals are deciding to choose to call Tampa home. And that is a great start. I love it and you're gonna love it too. And that moves us into number nine, which was the job market. And I know I hit a little bit of that just now, but like if you think about Tampa General Hospital, USF, you know, University of Tampa, um, you've, you head further south and you've got John Hopkins Hospital over in St. Pete. Um, you've got Baycare Medical System. We've got the VA. There's like so many of these different types of jobs. And then you look at uh, defense contract and you've got Lockheed Martin, Raytheon, CAE, Honeywell. These are just a few of the major defense contracting uh, companies we have. We have McDell Air Force Base, so we, we bring a lot of military families to the area also. And, you know, we're a port. You know, that's another reason why we're driving economy. And, like, we're talking about digital versus analog, you know, a minute ago with these tech jobs. But the port brings in a lot of opportunity as well, whether that be through shipping or that whether that be through the cruise liner. So there's a lot of opportunity in downtown Tampa and the greater Tampa Bay area. And that's why we're continuing to see this growth. Hillsborough County, um, where Tampa is, Pasco County to the north where areas like Wesley Chapel, uh, Lando Lakes and Odessa are, and then Polk County out like Lakeland, those types of areas, those are three of the fastest growing uh, counties in the entire country. So job growth is part of that. People won't move here without jobs. They are bringing them. There are a lot of remote workers here, but you know we're attracting a lot of young talent because we've got great jobs here in Tampa and that's continuing to grow as well. Number 10 on our list are the real estate options. Now, when you get to downtown Tampa, you're not gonna be able to find a single family home. So if you're thinking that, yeah, I'm gonna get a single family home, you're gonna have to move north of downtown. But don't worry, it's just a few minutes north, literally. I'm talking like two or three minutes north, then you can start finding those single family homes again. But if you're looking to live in areas like, um, you know, Channel Side or uh, the West Shore over there, you know, you're going to be looking at condo or apartment style living. Now, what does it cost to buy one of these condos? in these newer buildings or the high rise buildings, say like, you know, the one Tampa building, you know, they are not going to be inexpensive. So I want to make sure that you're aware of that ahead of time. 
Over the last 30 days, the average condominium that sold in downtown Tampa was a two bedroom, two bath, roughly 1,500 square foot and sold for right around $660,000. So that is not a small expense. And you can easily spend well over a million and go much, much higher if you start talking about penthouse style living. And these buildings are awesome, right? You can, you can have a gym inside, you can have a full concierge, they have pools, they have all kinds of different amenities and options for you that keep you in that localized area. I mean, honestly, I don't think you need a car if you live and work in downtown Tampa or if you live um, and work remotely. Now, you would want a car if you're a beach baby and you wanted to go over the, you know, to the Gulf of Mexico, go visit Clearwater, St. Pete Beach, but you could Uber as well. So like, that's an argument for a different day. I mean, honestly, if I didn't have any kids, I live downtown Tampa, I wouldn't have a car. It just wouldn't make any sense to me. Between the streetcar, between the bikes, the, scoot the scooters, the Ubering, the city's not that big. I mean, to go from the east side of the city, um, downtown to the west side of downtown, it's a couple miles. So, I mean, that's where I could see that you would need a bike or something, but ultimately you could get away with, you know, renting an Uber um, and just making your life way less complicated. I don't think you would spend as much money as you would on a car note, um, especially when you tar start talking about parking and things like that. So. It's really about your lifestyle and your preference. And speaking of those things, if you are interested in relocating to the greater Tampa Bay area, if you have any questions at all, do not hesitate to reach out to me and my team. Like I said before, all of my contact information is listed down below. Love to have a conversation about your ideal lifestyle and help you match up the communities that make the most sense for you. If you have any questions, you can put those in the comments down below. And as always, until next time, go out and live that Tampa life.